Hello, welcome to Bragway TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Jomo Kenyatta Jomo Kenyatta was a Kenyan politician and one of the founding fathers of modern-day Kenya. He led Kenya to independence, becoming the first prime minister from 1963 to 1964, then became the first president of independent Kenya. Kenyatta was born as Kamau in 1894 to Igengi as Ichawiri, formerly known as British East Africa, now Kenya. His father was a community leader of a small Kikuyu settlement. Jomo got his primary education through Scottish missionaries. At 10, he had Jigger infection and had surgery at the newly established Church of Scotland. As he was getting better, he was impressed by how he was treated by the whites and made up his mind to get Western education. Jomo then ran from his parents to Mission House and became a pupil. He was taught the Bible, mathematics, English and carpentry. He didn't have money for fees, so he worked as a houseboy for the Europeans. He was baptized in August 1914. Afterwards, he left the mission life for that of a city in Nairobi. At Nairobi, he got a job as a clerk in the public works department. It was that period that he adopted the name Kenyatta. Kenyatta was a Kikuyu term for a particular fancy belt he had at that time. He later served in the high court as interpreter. Soon, he was transferred to a station, the Nairobi Town Council. Not too long from that time, young Kenyatta fell in love and got married to his first wife, Grace. Kenyatta began to understand that the European settlers were maltreating them on their own soil and they needed freedom, what they called Uhuru, the name he later gave his son, President Uhuru Kenyatta. He joined the East Africa Association, whose leader was Hari Thuku. The association had its first protest against the white settlers a year before Kenyatta joined. The sole aim of the group was to get back their lands taken by the British. The colonial government did not take things lightly with the group and it was banned in 1924, although it surfaced as Kikuyi Central Association KCA. Kenyatta became the secretary years later and as a result lost his job. Kenyatta, who had become a nationalist, launched a monthly newspaper called Nwigetania, He Who Brings Together. It was a Kikuyu language based newspaper. The paper talked about self government, but in a polite manner that the colonial government didn't pick offense. But soon, Kenyatta and his people were faced with a big challenge when the British Commission recommended that Kenya, Uganda, and Tanganyika should be made into an entity. But Kenyatta's association, KCA, saw such a plan as harmful to the Kikuyus and they were against the scheme. In February 1929, Kenyatta traveled to London to meet the colonial secretaries and talk about their grievances, but none of them agreed to meet with him. Aggrieved, he wrote a letter in 1930 to buttress the point of the KCA and ended the letter by saying if they won't listen to them must inevitably result into a dangerous explosion. The one thing all sane wish to avoid. At the end, the government abandoned the plan. On Kenyatta's return to England, he went to study other Bronislaw Maninowski at the London School of Economics. In 1938, his thesis was revised and published as Facing Man's Kenya. It was a study of the traditional life of the Kikuyu. It was during the publication of the book that he changed his name to Jomo, which means Burning Spare. In the 1930s, Kenyatta became a member of the Communist Party, where he met like-minded nationalists and writers. He took part in the protests against the Italian invasion of Ethiopia. That period, the government banned KCA, so he remained in England, teaching and working as a farm laborer, but kept writing for the cause of Kikuyu. Jomo returned to Kenya in 1946 and took over the leadership of the Kenyan African Union, Kanun. He became its president in June the following year. In 1952, the Mau Mau Rebellion, an attack on the Europeans in Kenya took place and Kenyatta was arrested on October 21st, 1952 for leading the movement and was given a 7-year sentence in April 1953. The government had labelled the Mau Mau activities as terrorism. The colonial government had started bowing to pressure to give African nations independence and in 1960, the principle of one man one vote was adopted. Kenyan African National Union Kano Party was formed and Kenyatta was made president while still in prison. He was released on August 1961 and in 1962, in the London Conference, he negotiated for constitutional attempts that led to Kenya's independence. In December 1963, following his party's victory, Kenyatta became the country's first prime minister. A year later, following constitutional amendment, Kenya became a one-party republic and Kenyatta became the country's first president. He made Kenya's economy stable, even though his regime had some flaws. He died in 1978. Kenyatta was a polygamist with three wives. 
He had eight children, notable among them are Peter Mungai Kenyatta, who was the Prime Minister, and Uhuru Kenyatta, President of Kenya. What's your take on Jomo as a Kenyan politician? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.